Hello everyone! Today we're going to start learning a new set of Mrs Wordsmith character words all to do with clumsy or silly characters. First, let's begin by recapping our clever or sly words from last week. I wonder if you can use the clues to help you. Pause while you practice your clever or sly words. If you manage to remember them, our clever or sly words were devious, discerning, shrewd, cunning, innovative and astute. This week's words are all to do with being clumsy or silly. Do you recognise any of these book or film characters who are silly or clumsy? I wonder if you can think of any characters of your own. Here is the picture for our first clumsy or silly word. What is this character doing that might be clumsy or silly? Pause if you'd like to look for longer. First clumsy or silly word is blundering, which is an adjective meaning goofy or clumsy, like a politician who keeps making mistakes. Speed write the word blundering as many times as you can in one minute. Pause while you practice and press play when you're ready. Next, we're going to find the synonyms for the adjective blundering. These will be adjectives with a similar meaning. Look back at the definition to help you and pause while you find them. Did you manage to find them? Our synonyms for blundering were accident prone, clumsy and bungling. The rest will be our word pairs. In this case, people who we might describe as blundering. For example, blundering oaf. An oaf is someone who is rough, clumsy or unintelligent. Another word pair here which might not be familiar to you is buffoon. Buffoon means a ridiculous but amusing person. Pause while you practice saying or writing your word pairs. Press play when you're ready. Example for how we could use the word pair blundering buffoon in a sentence. The blundering buffoon tripped over his own feet. Can you come up with your own ambitious sentence for the word pair blundering beginner? Think about what somebody might be a beginner at. Why might they be blundering? Use the pictures to help you if you like. Pause while you write or say your sentence. Here's the picture for our next clumsy or silly word. What seems to be happening in the picture? What can you see the characters doing? Pause if you'd like to look for longer. Our next clumsy or silly word is crude, which is an adjective meaning rude or savage, like a cave woman who doesn't care about picking her nose in public. I'd like you to practice this word by pyramid writing it. Pause while you practice and press play when you're ready. Next, I'd like you to find the synonyms for the word crude. These are going to be adjectives with the same or a similar meaning. Remember to look back at the definition to help you to find these. Press pause while you find the synonym. Press play when you're ready. Did you manage to find them? Our synonyms for crude were rough, gross and rude. The rest are going to be our word pairs. These are all nouns which we would describe as being crude. Press pause while you practice the word pairs and then play when you're ready. Here's my example for how we could use the word pair crude manners in a sentence. They had crude manners as they didn't say please or thank you for their school dinner. I'd like you to come up with your own ambitious, interesting sentence for the word pair crude hut. Press pause while you practice writing or saying your sentence. Here's the picture for our next clumsy or silly word. What about this character makes them clumsy or silly? Pause if you'd like to look for longer. Our next clumsy or silly word is blundering, which is an adjective meaning awkward, clumsy or useless, like a fisherman who gets tangled up in his own fishing rod. I'd like you to speed write the word bumbling as many times as you can in one minute. Pause while you practice and press play when you're ready. 
Next, I'd like you to find the three synonyms for our word bumbling. These are going to be adjectives with the same or a similar meaning. Remember to look back at the definition of the word to help you. Press pause while you find the synonyms and then play when you're ready. Did you manage to find them? Our synonyms for the adjective bumbling were clumsy, awkward and bumbling. The rest are going to be our word pairs, nouns that you would describe using the adjective bumbling. Press pause while you match them and then play when you're ready. Here's my example for how we could use the word pair bumbling pupil in a sentence. The bumbling pupil couldn't catch the ball. I'd like you to come up with your own ambitious sentence for the word pair clumsy burglar. Press pause while you practice saying or writing your sentence and play when you're ready. We have three more clumsy or silly words to learn before you go off to practice them independently. I'll go through each one with a definition and an example in a sentence. Our first word here is daft, which is an adjective meaning bonkers or foolish, being silly enough to catapult a stone into a beehive. For example, brick, this is a daft plan, hissed Yin. Next, we have tongue-tied, which is an adjective meaning speechless or lost for words, when you feel shy and can't think of anything to say. For example, the tongue-tied fool sat with his mouth wide open in complete silence. Lastly, we have butterfingered, which is an adjective meaning clumsy or accident prone, like someone who constantly drops things. For example, the plate slipped from the butterfingered waiter's grip and crashed to the floor. Your task is to now practice the three clumsy or silly words, daft, tongue-tied and butterfingered. Find the synonyms for each word before you find its word pairs. Remember, you can do this on the sheet, in your exercise book or out loud. Press play when you've finished and then the answers are on the next slide. Well done for all your hard work so far. Now you can check and mark your synonyms and word pairs for each word. If you'd like an extra challenge, the star challenge is on the next slide. If you'd like an extra challenge, you can come up with your own ambitious sentence for each of these clumsy or silly words.